look at this letter. I just got another request from my cousin in the village. He says he needs money to start a business. Can you imagine? Business? What business again? The same cousin that needed money last month to fix the roof. Exactly. Every time it's one problem after the other. How can I focus on us if I'm constantly sending money to my extended family? Oh, so now you understand. When I was talking about my brother needing help for his school fees, you said we can't support everyone. Ah, that's different. Your brother has asked for school fees three times this year. Is he repeating the whole syllabus? And your cousin has asked for business money four times this year. Is he trying to open oil refinery? At least my cousin is trying to start something. Your brother is just going to school, school, school. Ah, so now education is a problem. Who's the one that keeps saying education is the key to success? But when it comes to paying for it, it's my brother that's the problem, right? Okay, okay, let's not argue. But really, how do we balance this? Every month is something. If it's not your family, it's mine. Baba, let's be real. Your family is worse. Your uncle asked for money to celebrate his 70th birthday. Since when did birthday parties become our responsibility? That one was special now. He's been supporting me since I was a boy. I can't say no. Special, my foot. And what about your auntie that wanted money to attend a wedding in Lagos? Are we funding people's social lives now? Well, you know Nigerian family. If you don't support them, they'll say you've made it and forgotten everyone. I get that, but there has to be a limit, Baba. We can't take care of every cousin, uncle, aunt and neighbor. We're not running a charity here. I know, I know, but my people, they expect it. And uh, my people expect it too. But you always complain when it's my side. Look, let's set some boundaries. We'll help only when it's really important. Emergencies, education, health. So no more funding business ideas that sound like they came from a Nollywood script? Exactly. And no more paying for party clothes or wedding cakes. If they want to party, let them party with their own money. You're right. From now on, we help with serious issues only. But if my cousin calls again, I might just pretend I didn't get the message. That's the spirit. Just tell them, I'll pray for you. Prayer is free after all. Ah, mama, you're wicked. Wicked? I am wise. There's a difference. 